Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Thursday, March 25th, around 10 a.m. Mountain Time 2021. The models are in and Maine may get buried as the West continues to get pummeled with snow. Much needed, but the big story, tornado threat. A rare high risk for tornadoes is issued for the South the second time in a week. Keep calm, it's boom time. Hunker down, Birmingham. There's a high risk in the forecast for Alabama, and that's not all. We have a large swath, and we're talking Tennessee, Mississippi, and Bama. So there is your bullseye. Keep a close eye on it. The biggest risk is for the afternoon today. Six inches of snow possible in southeast Wyoming mountains as well, and double-digit snow totals possible as a third wave of snow rolls through Colorado. Denver could break the 1891 snow record with this storm. And the potential nor'easter could drop huge snow totals on Maine next week. This week, actually. It's insane. And there's different models, but each is as impressive as the other. If we could just calm this down, and I'll show you one here. There's some heavy totals here. What are the odds? Well, we'll check the newest models that just came out. And they're showing that, well, it looks like 16 inches or more for the entire northern half of the state of Maine, according to the GFS model. But let's walk it through and tell you when this will show up. Here is your Thursday today. That snow is going to continue and to really explode later in the day, Thursday, Friday, here in the Four Corners region. And you could see some moderate light snow here in the Sierras, the Northwest, and all of the Rocky Mountains through the weekend. And there is your Saturday event up in Maine, which will bring that snow Saturday. Boom. Maybe a little snow to upstate uh, Vermont there. And then we have a little event here in Wisconsin on your Sunday, which will be your fun day. And then some lake effect happening uh, on Monday morning here in the Northeast, including Pennsylvania and New York State. While there's a second small system in the West, that is basically what we have, we're, we're dealing with until late in the model when we have another explosion in the West sometime in the second week of April. So we're going to keep a close eye on that because it is spring. Major severe weather outbreak today for the Mid-South and Tennessee Valley. A major severe weather outbreak is likely today in the Mid-South and Tennessee Valley, especially in central and northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, western and middle Tennessee. Numerous tornadoes, several intense and long track are possible. Widespread damaging winds with some hurricane force and scattered large hail, some baseball size, are expected within these intense storms. And we did show you the bullseye. There it is. So a big heads up for you there. UK on for record April snow as rare March blizzards blanket Turkey, Cyprus, Algeria, Taiwan, and India. Well, it is, well, you know what it is. Extreme winds knock over pedestrians in China. Take a look at this. I'm actually just trying to mute that so we can watch some of this and not get demonetized. Take a look at these people. They can't even walk forward. But they want to get to work. He really needs to get to work. I got to get that slushy. Oh, maybe I should have eaten that bacon for breakfast. So these people can't even walk through the car door there. Oh, and they're gone. I guess we have a commercial. <laughs> We've had this up for a day. So that's what's happening in uh, China, according to the South China Post. I'm not really familiar with that resource, but let's talk about tsunami warnings. Half of the tsunami sirens failed to function during today's warning test in the Humboldt region. A flood of tsunami warning test notifications in a number of formats flowed out to coastal inhabitants where phone and email alerts, warning broadcast over radio and TV, as well as overflight by the Civil Air Patrol plane, but half of the prominent warning systems did not work. Half of the tsunami si sirens failed. Can you believe that? I can. Now, six out of the 12 sirens failed to sound during the test, confirmed Samantha Cargas, spokesman for the Humboldt County Sheriff's Office. The sirens were activated remotely. So the first thing they'll be doing is to see if there's something wrong with the remote controls. <laughs> but the fact that half of them don't work, well, they should get on that. Seismic update, no quakes of note. We have a moderate uptick in the western U.S., 
And that's about all to report on. LA's biggest quake threat sits on an overlooked part of the San Andreas Fault, according to a new study, which may be good news. In the paper here, a revised position for the primary strand of the Pleistocene Holocene San Andreas Fault in Southern California means, well, it means good news. There is a silver lining. If this analysis is right, experts say that it's possible that when a long predicted and much more devastating earthquake hits this region, the San Andreas, it may not do quite as much damage to the region as some scientists previously feared. Any earthquake above eight magnitude in this region will cause unfathomable damage, period. So if you're interested in uh, doing some research, I'll leave you links to the article and the paper. Now on to the Reykjanes Peninsula, where earthquake and activity and seismicity has been dropping off a cliff, but this is still pulsing, small tremor pulses, but mostly for the last 48 hours, very little activity. And that's because we have an ongoing eruption at the fissure here in Glendengue. But the rest of the island, we have some uh, activity at the major volcanic vents, so we're going to keep a close eye on Iceland as a whole. Now, there is some scientific analysis coming out from the lava that is from this vent. And the Reykjanes eruption continues for its fourth day. Yesterday, scientists found evidence that the magma had come from below 20 kilometers deep in the mantle. Now, this type of eruption hasn't happened in this region for almost 17,000 years, which puts it before the Younger Dryas event, repeating a very large cycle in the cosmic catastrophe wheel. These types of deep mantle fissures, once opened, can continue for decades, even hundreds of years, exactly as we predicted almost two months ago, before a single peep came from a single scientist uh, from a single media platform. Just remember, who makes the right predictions? And Etna's 16th paroxysm did not disappoint. The longest time frame between paroxysms, this one almost four and a half days, and boom, showering neighborhoods with ash and pebbles. In spectacular fashion, it may have come after the longest yet interval, 4.5 days, almost double the previous average since the previous lava fountaining episode, but it made up for it by lasting more than twice as long. The 16th paroxysm from Etna's new southeast crater is only in only five weeks' time, which has started in the evening, lasted through the whole night, and essentially still going strong. So that is the 16th paroxysm at Etna. And we have a few other volcanoes to mention. Fuego, Kluchiskov, Popo, Ibu, Reventador, Vienamov, and Raung all puffing and passing. Rare daytime fireball meteor creates massive sonic boom over the UK. The meteor was so bright you could see it during the day, and we call that a bolide. Brace yourself. The globe faces another epic toilet paper shortage, and it is a crisis. The shipping lanes are blocked. There's no pulp coming in. So, take heed. <laughs> Let's block that. Human sperm count dwindling. Penis shrinking at alarming rate, scientist warns. They have no idea what's happening. In the same day, scientists detect 55 chemicals never before reported in people, and 42 of them are mystery chemicals whose sources are unknown. Scientists still remain baffled. <laughs> The world's earliest stone technology is likely older than previously thought, just like everything else we previously thought. Probably wrong. Now, a 9,000-year-old caribou hunting structure beneath Lake Huron has been discovered, and here is the paper. It's the full paper, and there's an article about it that's fascinating. Archaeologists have found prehistoric rock structures under the Great Lakes, and the stones can tell us that around, before the Younger Dryas event, 13, 14,000 years ago, they were hunting megafauna using blinds and pinch points. Very smart uh, culture, the Clovis culture here. Hunting caribou, probably, on the shores of a much smaller Lake Huron, 13, 14,000 years ago. New results from the Large Hadron Collider challenges leading theory in physics. Billions of dollars have been spent, and they cannot be explained by our current laws of nature. That's the state of science. It's nonsense, to be quite honest. First clues to the start of Earth's supercontinent cycle found. 
Now, this is the earliest iteration of what we would call Pangaea or some supercontinent, Gondwana land, but these are early ones, 2.5 billion years ago. And pretty interesting data set, basically showing that um, the Earth was not, didn't have large continents on one side of it. The Earth was smaller, and that this whole idea using the same size Earth is kind of ridiculous. So proving our point once again that the Earth is growing. And here's the paper, Archaean Geodynamics, Ephemeral. Supercontinents or long-lived supercratons. Dive into it. I'll leave you the full paper. Amazon River Monster turns up dead in Florida. People are wondering. Yes. No, they're not. <laughs> they know exactly what's happening. Same thing as the ball python. Yeah, same thing as the snakehead. We now have the arapaima. One of the world's largest freshwater fish can eat humans. It grows up to 10 feet long. That sounds like a dream. I hope you got something out of the video. There is a tornado and a severe weather alert for baseball size hail and large long track tornadoes in the red dot. So take heed, take warning, get your preps ready and stay inside. Keep an eye out. Be prepared. Don't be scared. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. The shit show that is the world that we live in. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one time donors, our Patreons, the people that share this video. You are the hero. Be safe. We love you. And that is a boom to knowledge and a tornado warning all at the same time. Click on one of the other boxes to get up to speed. Be safe. We'll see you later tonight.